The Column and Lucy Show on 2FM. All right, it's 14 away from 11. It's Jean Christophe. Novelli, the uh, sexiest man in the world. Well, no, hang on. Sexiest <laughs> chef, <laughs> sorry. sorry. Sexiest chef yeah. ever. Please, please, Calm please. down there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I want that title. Uh, now, I'm going to take you back to a night in November uh, in Paris when Ireland were playing France. Mm, and I know so. you're quite passionate about your football. Uh, were you in the grounds? Were you there? In well, the I tell you, that day I had a, a cookery school at right. my farm um, and uh, my dad phoned me. Uh, usually we finish about, you know, quite late evenings. Yeah. My dad rang me and he was absolutely like... Um, Crazy? Hysterical. You can see, was, I, do not, I did not understand uh, okay. what happened. And he said, it's absolutely embarrassing. I can't help but repeat it. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, and effectively, when I managed to, to go next door and, and, and catch up uh, with my cousin, who was, uh, yeah. and it was absolutely... I did not, I didn't actually understand too much what happened. But the only thing I, I realized... The world where cheat, 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 this. Yeah. Therefore, what's happening now is the fact that when I actually acknowledge the situation, and clearly you can see that is more than embarrassing. Mm. The things you've got to understand is two things. First, I love France very much, and I'm mm-hmm. proud to be a Frenchman. Yeah. Also, I love the Irish. I think you realize that mm-hmm. uh, it, so I feel middle. like in a sandwich now, you know? I yeah, feel like in a sandwich, in the or like having a lovely chocolate cake in front of you and you can't eat it. Because I've actually banned myself from uh, supporting France at the World Cup. And I love... Sport. You're not going to support I absolutely not. Do you want to support Greece with me? I, no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't eat olives. <laughs> and I'm telling, telling you something. I know Robbie Keane. He, he, I actually met him. Do you know how I met Robbie Keane for the first time? No. no. In a toilet. Really? Where? Yes. In Dublin? Uh, no far from where I live. Where In Luton? It's a good where, place to meet someone. Just okay. outside Luton, yeah. Uh, Arpen wasn't like then. one of these public types. It wasn't a George Michael no, no, moment no, no, or anything. No, 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 no. He's not a type, and I'm not a type. I was just. Uh, <laughs> I don't. No, 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 no. Please. He's not your type. Thanks Listen, for bring, thanks the the for bringing chef. small details. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> he, he is engaged. With you. No, no, I, know, I mean, I, know, I, know, I don't I know. actually go out to start. And I was. We were celebrating something. Yeah. I went to the loo, and next to me was Robbie Keane. Yeah. And, and uh, who said hello first? Uh, well. First, I did because obviously I recognized him. Yeah. Uh, uh, he realized I was a chef. Therefore, that was a nice compliment. But what f- was funny, I was not expecting him to be there and also next to me in the toilet. Therefore, when I said, Oh my God, I can't believe you're there. Yeah. Da, da, da. Therefore, it's very, very nice job, by the way. Yes. He didn't say that much. And I only say, I am so excited I'm meeting you. And he said, Well, I can't believe you. I said, oh, do you know, he said, You just pee on your shoes. <laughs> <laughs>